and good evening and yes we're back again uh in uh, train sim world again uh because i gotta finish that scenario if you're watching this on youtube welcome uh this is the second part of the scenario that we did last time um where we had to pull the class 47 uh, nine point something miles and uh, when i've streamed it didn't have time to do that um so ended the video um and ended the stream and back to do it again well continue it anyway so we're here in the west somerset the return exactly lowered uh we're here in the west somerset railway dlc i am absolutely loving this dlc it is awesome um so yeah i couldn't leave it um to come back on and do this um so we will jump back into the west somerset railway uh, we will carry on from our last played position. Hopefully it's remembered where we were. And it has. So this is where we left off last time. Uh, in little class 09. Uh, I've got to pull the class 47. Uh, 9.6 miles in that direction. He's addicted. Uh, he's addictive. But I couldn't proceed any further because of a points issue. So... I need to uh, get myself out of this chair. There we go. Um, I need to run down and check the points. So I'm on that track there then. Because it said I, it wouldn't let me pass the signal due to a. Aha, this one then. Yeah, that's going to put me in a siding in it. So now we should be fine. Yeah, this game is really... If I thought I had the time, I would do the last scenario as well tonight. Uh, but this was supposed to be a 45-minute scenario, and this will be over two hours. Um, oh, shut that door. Shut that door. Set ourselves back down. Let's tab. Proceed at signals. Proceed as sig signals indicate. Okay, that's not going to go well then, is it? Uh, right, so reverser in forward. Brakes to off. We're rolling backwards. That's because I've got the reverser going the wrong way. Forget that. No, 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 no. Okay, so reverser in reverse. <laughs> Good start. Uh, brakes to off. And now I'll give it some beans. There we go, we go that way. This looks so <laughs> familiar, exactly. See the signals indicate. But that's a red. So do I wait for it to turn green? Hmm. Okay, interesting already. It's not letting me go through the red signal, but it's saying proceed as signals indicate. And that's red. So, am I going to get done for running a red light? Proceed the signals indicate. Well, there's only one way of finding out, isn't there? Is to run it. Very, very slowly. Well, it hasn't failed before it. But again, the class 47 that I'm towing is running. Why not just drive it there? Why use this to pull it there? Right, anyway, we will do as we're told. 
Originally, this was supposed to be a 45 minute scenario. We did an hour and 20 minutes, I think it was, hour and 25 minutes of it uh, earlier this afternoon or in the last video if you're watching this on YouTube. Um, and we're back to finish it off with a 9.6 mile run. Which isn't exactly going to be short. And this is the penultimate scenario of the DLC. And the last one's a 75 minute scenario, so that's definitely going to be a stream for next weekend. Next Sunday afternoon. So a yellow light in 170 yards, 25 mile an hour speed limit in uh, 270 yards. In theory, we shouldn't get any reds because that was the last service of the day was the one we drove back in. So this is a uh, preservation line or historic line. So there shouldn't be any more trains running on it. So there shouldn't be a red, in theory. We got a green. Right, 9.4 miles to go. And we've got 25 mile an hour now. So at least we can um, pick up a little bit of speed. Like so. Slowly, but we're picking up speed. Is that it? So we're flat out. Throttle four is as fast as this thing will go. So this isn't really built for speed, it's a shunter. Ah, yes, Shemansky. Oh, we are going uphill. So we might be in a fighting chance of getting it there. But it's quite amusing how the 47 behind me is still running. Surely they turn that off. And then just pull it. Anyway, well that's um, firing away. Look at that. It is quite nice. Graphically, this game is absolutely superb. And this DLC as well. Scenery is brilliant. Uh, the gameplay is brilliant. These two locos that you get um, with the DLC, both of them fantastic. I do love that Class 47, but I like the little shunter as well. So we're flat out doing 18 miles an hour. And we've got 8.9 miles. This will be a short stream. It's only going to be the length of this journey. And then as I said, next Sunday afternoon, or next week, if you're watching this on YouTube, um, we'll see the final part which may end up being a two-parter as well, because that's supposed to be a 75-minute one, so that could be about three hours. Oh, great. And it's getting dark as well, which is quite nice. So we're uphill, 1% gradient going up. Doesn't this thing look superb? And 
I should imagine we've probably got to bring the um, the shunter back again. Hopefully not, because that's definitely not a 45 minute scenario then. Because if the shunter lives at that station where we just were, then why is this being taken all the way down there? When the carriage is left all the way back there. So surely tomorrow morning, in theory, this has got to do the reverse, unless that's what it does. Right, we've got um, 20 mile an hour speed limit coming up in 2.5 miles. Uh, at the moment, I'm not worried about that. Because we're on uphill gradient and just about doing 20. Yeah, it could be that it lives on the other station, but why would the carriages be left here? Surely if that's where it starts its day, unless that's the maintenance yard or something that's going in for maintenance overnight. The trees are too tight and I can't get a decent angle. We'll see when we get there. So it's maybe a, like a 40 minute or 50 minute uh, stream. Has it got a house? Yes, it does. It's got a front door, it gets mail and everything. Have you not seen Thomas the Tank Engine? And they have to put it to bed at night. Why is the camera set to there? Yeah, see, the 47's running. The only place we've got smoke coming from is the 47. Surely you'd turn that off, wouldn't you? Save fuel, save the planet and all that. Graphically, this thing is very, very impressive. So if it wasn't streaming, I'd do a Larwood. I'd go off and do something else now. Who, Larwood, by the way, is playing Train Sim. I've got you hooked, Larwood. Doesn't that look nice? See, it's slightly annoying me that the shunt is going backwards and not forwards. But, okay. Seven point three miles to go now. Oh, we got this twenty mile an hour speed limit coming up, one point three miles. <laughs> we might start slowing down for it. Yeah, so is it going to be a case of we drop off the 47 and then come all the way back in the shunter again? At least it'll be downhill. We might go a bit quicker. But it's definitely not a 45-minute scenario. It's going to be two hours, I reckon, by the time we finish.
but very relaxing. Just basically just driving this thing flat out. Yeah, in the lighting now it's getting darker is awesome. I haven't found that a bit about this whole single DLC that I don't like yet. I was very um, nervous when I started it yesterday. Uh, if you're watching this on Twitch. Um, and I thought it wouldn't be very good, but look at it. That just looks fantastic, doesn't it? In fact, Right, 0.7 miles until we get this 20 mile an hour limit. Um, this is the penultimate scenario for me, if you've just joined, welcome, uh, of um, West Somerset Railway's um, DLC for Trains in World, and it is epic as a DLC. Absolutely love it. This is the one, two, three, fourth stream I've done this weekend uh, in this DLC. That's how much I like it. It is brilliant. All the streams, if you want to watch them again, you can go back and watch them on Twitch. Uh, or they will be going up on YouTube as a series starting uh, tomorrow. Again, if you're watching this on YouTube, it started four weeks ago. I do really now want to look at the rest of the DLCs. I've got the Great Western one and was really d disappointed in that. Um, but I really want to look at the rest of them because graphically this thing is awesome. And anything that gives me a chance to drive something diesel is brilliant as well. on the climb it, I know it's a 20, 25 mile an hour speed limit but I'm flat out that's as fast as this little shunt will go he's giving me 17 miles an hour pulling that logo it can't go any faster Captain see that camera view is wrong it's set to go the other way Really lights inside here, it's going to be dark. I guess it's not meant to be out in the dark. Oh, uh, yeah, interior, what's that? Interior lights. Oh, there we go. That's better. So, there's the interior of it. Look like at the fact that the gauges spin, so depending on what side you're sat driving it on, that's pretty cool. What else we got up here then? Was that it? Just those two. All right, 300 yards. We've got a green light. Going back through a station that we came through earlier. Or in one of the last videos. Oh, we're only doing 20. slow it down a little bit. You can just hear the 47 ticking over behind us. And the birds twittering. Right, 21. 22. Come on, the speed of mission now increase 25. There we go. 5.6 miles to go. Position one. Now we're going down. I'm actually going to start braking. Which didn't end well last time. We had to try and break this thing on the gradient. I 
Yeah, I didn't expect this. I thought when we were shifting all the coaches around at the beginning part of this scenario, I thought it would just be a case of park this thing up, you know, not haul the 47 nine miles. You can't hear the shunter, you can only hear the 47. Which does sound nice. Alright, give it some throttle. So going downhill, so we've got to be really careful. Got the brakes off. No brakes are off. It's such an, I'd actually go love to go and ride on this uh, line in real life. so idyllic and as a game obviously really well modelled yeah, the cabs really really well done the light's a bit bright actually I'm turn it off I don't know if you can change the trains. A steam train would be really nice on this route, actually. Are there any steam trains in Train Sim World? Because that would actually be quite a handful. I've attempted to drive steam trains in Train Sim, and it's ended badly. Oh, in real life. That'd be awesome. Last steam train I went on was the one down in Paynton. Which is really nice. Hello, Petey boy. Welcome back. We're still doing train sim. But it will be a shorter stream this time as soon as we finish this journey. Um, well, this is not the scenario, then I'll be ending again. Okay, this has got the brakes. The brakes are off. Just be very careful, I don't speed. Still got four point three miles to go. Right, back off the throttle. Get ready on the brakes. Ten to eight on a nice summer's evening, chugging along in a train. How awesome! Actually, wouldn't mind being in that caravan down there. Yeah, if you've got Train Sim World. I can recommend this DLC. I'm not sure what there is to do after the uh, scenarios are done, whether there's timetables and stuff we can do. Because we haven't run the whole line yet. 
Um, it would be nice to more modern train, but it's a historic line. I'd actually love to do this in a steam train. But you couldn't really bring a an electric, well you couldn't bring electric down here, but you couldn't bring anything uh, like a 125 down here, it just wouldn't look right. Although some of those, I should imagine, will be on the historic line soon. Because um, the last one's being axed off the uh, Great Western main line. So there'll be uh, preservation places out there preserving the old 125s. Saw one on the YouTube video the other day, leaving, last one leaving a depot in Swansea. And it didn't have any carriages, so it's one engine coupled to another engine. It looked really strange. So 3.4 miles to go. Yeah, it did look odd, didn't it? Although the guy filming started off filming other random bits of stuff which I didn't like. And then you just saw the train disappear. But it did look really strange, just the two um, power cars. Yeah, if you follow um, Jeff Marshall on um, YouTube, he's been doing some stuff, looking at the building of those. You'll see. Uh, his, uh, all the stations series was absolutely fantastic absolutely love that if you haven't watched it uh, Jeff um, and his girlfriend uh, visited every um, mainline train station in the UK over like a three month period and recorded it for YouTube it was a brilliant um, brilliant series Called all the stations. But Jeff Marshall's channel is really good as well, and the Londonist is worth watching for transport stuff. Yeah, I only found out about that through uh, Larwood off of here. Well, they hinted at, at the um, documentary of um, all the stations. The very end was a map of Ireland. So I've got a feeling they'll be... I don't know, I haven't spotted anything on Twitter, but I've got a feeling over this summer uh, they're going to be in Ireland. Doing all the Irish stations. But we're not in Ireland. We're on the rest of Somerset Railway, chugging along. Rather nicely at 26 miles an hour. With views like that. Come on, if you feel can't tell me you're not a train fan if you don't like that. Look at that. It's just brilliant. A class 47 being pulled by a class 9. And you can just about hear the class 47 going dum, 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 just ticking over. Graphically, this thing's but I love the fact it's getting darker as well as the evening's drawing in. I'd love to do an early morning run in this. We're still heading down, so I put the brakes on. Uh, I'm not a steam fan, um, I do like old diesels. The great sort of British rail era, uh, sort of 60s, 70s, 80s, um, of the old diesels, I do like them. You know, Deltix and um, 66s and 47s. And I do like a DMU.
Yeah, can't beat a good pacer. I've never been on a pacer. Um, I've got to go up north to do that. Uh, maybe hopping on a train up in Scotland in a couple of weeks' time uh, from Perth to uh, Edinburgh, but I bet that'll be something boring and electric. Yeah, I don't know where, because I'm from down south, I don't know where the uh, closest pacer would be for me. It's probably Manchester or something like that. Or up in uh, Yorkshire. Well, we've actually got here a lot quicker than I thought we were going to be, so this could be a very short stream. We could have a look and see what else is available to do around Leeds. That means going to Leeds, though. So there's a downside there. Leeds isn't that bad. Well, people say that if they're from Leeds. We've got 1.2 miles to our stop point then. And we're still on a downhill gradient. Green light in 600 yards. Yeah, I really must do that. Like, um, I'm going to Scotland, as I said soon, but I'm not going to get the opportunity to go on any trains. I'd love to go up there next year and just ride um, some of the scenic routes on some old trains. That'd be awesome. Right, hopefully now after this, that it isn't just a case of stop. We've actually got to do something when we get here and uncouple this thing. Because I don't really want to do a 35-minute stream. Being phased out, okay. Again, I bet there'll be someone an historic line somewhere. Someone's got a it's gotta be a save the pacer campaign. A pacer preservation society or something. slow down a lot because I do that I think all the pace issue but no you got to keep things like that it's part of the heritage it's a bus on uh, a train bogey it needs to be kept actually the first generation ones I've never seen like Chris Tarrant, Extreme Railways, where he literally goes over the Andes, isn't it? And it is a Mercedes minibus that is on the railway tracks. That's just awesome. No, I do like a Sprinter. I've been on a few Sprinters. They sound really, really nice. Right, I have to stop soon then. Well, I'm very speeding. Yeah, 
Yeah, I bet we got to back it in up to there. We're still slightly speeding. See, apologies, this ends up being a very short stream. But I really wanted to complete this. Right, objective complete. Now what? Set reverse, so master keys it off position. Uh, switch off any active lights on the locomotive. Uh, one evening in the week, I'm going to jump back on and maybe do some flight. Set reverse, set master keys it off position. Okay. Master key, master key is over there, isn't it? Um, I don't know, this is the end for this year. Side. So you can still hear the 47 chundering away. Okay, well I've done all that lot. Oh, I've got to turn that one off, and I. I want to go out to turn them on, climb down for the train to complete this duty. No, nope. close the door when I get out, don't close the door when I get in. It's really actually annoying me that the 47 is running. I'm going to see if I can turn it off. Um... Engine start, engine stop. There's an air leak somewhere. Climb up the steps. Come on. Engine stops. So why is it making that noise? I'm guessing it's still running. I see what going there. What is making that noise? No, it's definitely the 47. 
He's making that noise. Oh, I've built in crew. Uh, right anyway, I may as well end this scenario then. Objective complete. There we go, 45 minute scenario. It took me 1 hour 47 minutes to complete it. That's not bad going. So let's go back to the main menu. So, scenarios. The only one we've got left to do is to the beach. Scope and increased demand. The resident class 09 has been called upon to operate extra services. They're using a shunter to call a pull a service between Bishops, Lydiard, and wherever it is. That's going to be interesting. So we'll do that next time. What do we got here for services then? So we can only use the two trains. Okay. So class 09, the class 47. So we can't use other trains. That's a shame. Wait, we can have snow. Let's just muck around with these for a second. So we can have rain. Snow. Bit of wind. And we'll have some cloud. And she can turn down the rain then, can't we? It's a snowy day. So we can pick the services, look. So Bishop Lydiard to Minehead. Minehead to Bishop Lydiard. Locomotive running around the Bishop Lydiard. Locomotive exchange at Mine Light. Locomotive move. Oh, there's loads of services we can do. I'm guessing that's the whole operate all and all stops service southbound. So there are plenty we could do then um, for future streams and stuff. Well, there's a name. Quite nice in the cold, though. Quite like turn, turn the snow off. No cloud level, no wind, and absolutely hooning it down. Or not. That's pretty cool, isn't it? So, main menu. So yeah, I've got the West Somerset Railway, got the Great Western Express, and I've got the CSX Heavy Haul. That is the only DLCs I've got for this game. Uh, we will finish off the last scenario next time for that one, where we jump in a Class 9. So yeah, short stream, but uh, is the third one I've done today. Uh, so we'll call it a day there. Thanks to everybody new uh, that's uh, watched today. Thanks for those of you that have been chatting in chat. Uh, about midweek, um, might do a Wednesday night uh, cheeky stream, uh, possibly in some flight sim. Uh, and then back Friday night for some Euro trucking, Saturday night for The Last of Us. Next Sunday afternoon, we'll do some more of this. And next Sunday night, who knows? So plenty of scre screams, streams from me. Uh, don't forget to subscribe on the YouTubes. And um, we'll catch everybody soon. Uh, say good night. Oh, it's only me, isn't it? Uh, good, <laughs> good night, everybody. <laughs>